because I got so very annoyed at this. This is a really, really annoying Golden Benny I get if I haven't, if, it ha if that hasn't been clear yet. I just really hate doing this. Okay, I'm actually doing pretty good now. Uh, you want to make sure you get a lead on him as soon as possible. So you can kind of, you know, focus on speed and getting the very easy coins. It's kind of hard to do it normally because you're trying to avoid the scarab while you're also sliding. And you also have to make very sharp turns like that. You also want to memorize uh, which of the two forks have the best coin payouts whenever you're doing this. Just so you can get some extra coins along the road. Okay. This part can be kind of annoying because at the very end of this little turn, there's a part where you can easily fall off. I think it's actually coming up here in a second. Yep, right here. Okay. Okay, I think I got this. All I have to do now is just make it to the end. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Yes! It only took me two tries. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, I really hate that stupid scarab. And what sucks is you actually have to uh, race him again later on on perhaps an even more difficult slide than this. So yeah, we haven't seen the last of Mr. Scarab, unfortunately. But thankfully we're done with him now. Okay, let me look at the stats for this level. Okay, I've gotten everything but the banana metal, or, and the two bananas. And same thing for Lanky, although I also need the blueprint with Lanky. Uh, for right now, I'm actually going to stop with Angry Aztec. I'm not going to collect any more. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because, um, in order to get, like, uh, well, not in order to get, like, I can, I can technically actually get, um, all the bananas with Lanky and Tiny right now. Uh, the only reason I'm waiting, though, is because of the banana fairies. Because I have to do something with them later, and I can't do anything with the banana fairies yet, so I'm waiting until I actually, you know, get that feature, and then I'll actually come back and get those later. So that's why I'm not completely finishing up with Angry Aztec. So, if anyone asks... Oh, you missed something, or why aren't you getting this? I'm going to kick you in the face because I just explained it. I'm not doing it later. I have to come back, so do not ask me about it. Okay, so now I have to find a boss door. I think there's one right over here. Okay, no, there isn't. There is one around here, though. Um, I know specifically where um, Funky Kong is. Or no, there's one right here, too. This also works. Okay, so let's go ahead and feed Trough and Scoff, or no, just Scoff. Uh, for this boss door, we need 120 bananas. We have more than enough to do that. Uh, this boss fight is actually a piece of cake, so I should be able to do this in no time. I'd almost even argue that this boss is actually easier than the first boss, but... Eh, we'll see. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna be fighting this boss with... Diddy Kong! Hooray, Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong is awesome. Everyone should strive to be just like Diddy Kong. Seriously, though, I mean, who wouldn't want to fly jetpack barrels around? Except maybe those who are afraid of heights. Hey, look, a dragonfly. What the... Diddy, you killed it! Oh, yeah, just kill it some more! Please, do that. Uh-oh. Diddy probably shouldn't have done that in front of its parents. That probably wasn't a very good idea. Okay, so like Army Dillo, you pretty much fight this guy in the same way. Uh, you wait for him to get done with uh, him firing fireballs at you, and then you just throw a TNT barrel at him. It's really that simple. 
And you only do have to do it three times, so... Very, very easy boss. But trust me, the bosses will get harder. In fact, I think the boss for the third world is probably the hardest, uh, you know, uh, normal boss of the game, in my opinion. Although the final boss fight's kind of tricky, too. <laughs> okay, one more hit should do it. Or is it four hits? I'm pretty sure it's three hits. Just because three hits is, like, always the magic number. Uh, the only reason I say four hits is because, um, you know, this battle arena has four corners, so that could also be a factor. And will this be it? Yep, that's it. Simple three-hit boss. So let's grab the key and be on our merry way. Didn't I say that for the last boss fight, too? Yeah, whatever. I don't keep track of what I say. It's kind of stupid. Okay, so I am finally ready to leave Angry Aztec, for right now, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and get out Lanky Kong, though, because I know there are a few bananas I can get at the very beginning of the area. And look, once again, I'm gonna have to jump over... Actually, can I get to the platform from the tree? If so, that would probably save a lot of time. Plus, there's bananas up here, too. Okay, no, not quite. It was a good, it was a good attempt, though. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm taking quicksand damage. If I didn't, re if I didn't uh, restore any of my health. I probably would have been dead like five times just from the quicksand by itself. Okay, um, the exit's over here. I'll go ahead and handstand walk out of here. Because handstand walking is where it's at. <laughs> we'll actually manage to get Lanky Kong's banana medal too. I didn't really even plan on that. It just kind of happened. Although I guess something else you could do, you could also just exit the level like this. You're really not forced to go through the um, exit and enter door. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pay a good visit to our good friend K. Lumsey. So we can give him the second key. And so we can also open up the third area. But I'm also going to do a few other things before I actually head towards the third area. Once again, he does his happy little dance. And a few things actually happen on the overworld. First, this little grate actually rises, so you can actually climb to near the top of K. Rule Isle. This door opens, which opens up the third area. And this little grate down here actually opens up too, which allows you access to the fourth area. So he technically just opened up two worlds for you. However, since I am always one who loves to do things in the way you're supposed to do them, I'm going to do the third world first. Besides, I have to unlock the character that's actually trapped in the third world too, so... You know, it kind of makes sense to go there first. Uh, behind K. Lumsey's Island, there is a grape switch, which allows you to get a golden banana. Kind of good thing that I got that out of the way. In case I forgot about it later on and I started looking all over the island for just that one banana. That probably wouldn't happen, but you never know. Okay, next we're actually going to switch to Tiny Kong. And I actually talked about this after I finished Jungle Japes a little bit. 
But now that we have Tiny Kong, we can actually do something here on Banana Fairy Isle. Uh, before I actually go inside the little um, front door, if you can call it that. I'm gonna get this golden banana that's right here. I need to get a banana with Diddy Kong, though. Which actually probably won't be happening for a while. Okay, so now we're gonna go inside the island. Well, not inside the island, but inside the giant head that this island is made up of. And in here we have the Banana Fairy Queen. Oh, I just don't know what to do. There was this huge tremor recently and it scared my banana fairies so much that they panicked and flew away and I talk like this because I can't think of a better voice. I'll reward anyone who manages to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. Okay, so yeah. We just now got another collectible we have to look out for while we're playing this game. And in order to capture banana fairies, we can't just, like, you know, walk up and take them. That would be way too... cruel, I guess. What we have to do in order to catch them is we have to take a picture of them. Not just any picture, though. You have to have a very exact photo of them. So, yes, we're gonna kind of hone our Pokemon snap skills a little bit. And also, something else you actually get from her is actually a shockwave attack of your own. Uh, press the B button and hold it for a few seconds. You'll start getting these little orange sparklies, and if you let go of the B button, you can perform a shockwave move with any Kong. Uh, these shockwave moves are actually pretty useful, and they can destroy pretty much any enemy in the game, so... Um, it's always nice to have some of those, or to have that move. Now, there is a banana fairy on this island, so I'll go ahead and try to get this one to show you how you would normally go about capturing them. So, uh, hold the Z button and then press C down. And look, you have a little camera viewfinder. Then what you have to do is you have to get the banana fairy right in the middle of that little circle um, picture thing. I don't really know what you'd call that. Center of the target, center of the frame, whatever. And you know you have a good picture when that little icon in the top right is a green smiley face. If it's a red smiley face, you will not get the picture. But just press the B button when you have a green smiley face, and then you'll get a picture of it. And the banana fairy will bless you with magic. And they will actually increase your crystal coconut meter by one each time you get a banana fairy. So it's very important that you try to rescue as many banana fairies as you can early on just so you have a lot of crystal coconuts for later on in the game. But okay, now that I'm done with that, we're actually ready to scale uh, K. Rule Isle. I am going to get Donkey Kong out, though, because there is a, a golden banana I'm actually going to get along the way. So, swim over to the island. Uh, for those of you wondering where the fourth level is, uh, the fourth level is just down there. That's where it is. So if you even wanted to actually access that level first, you could, but there really isn't a point to doing that. It's better to just do things in order, especially since you get the final uh, hit, uh, the final character in World Three. And why can I not get up there? There we go. So yes, we're now going to climb, and now we're going to get hit by stupid watermelon bombs. Of course. And at this point, you can go over here, or you can go up there. I'll quickly go over here just to show you what's over here. In this room, we actually have Snide's HQ. And we also have a few other things too, but we can't do anything with them yet. Because we need more moves, and we also need another character too, so... This area is kind of pointless. There is a tag barrel though, so you can use that if you want. 
Now, I'm actually going to do something very, very stupid. Let's jump down here, because there is a coconut switch. And when you hit the coconut switch, there's also a gold banana. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up while we're here. 